Alright, so we got our character moving, but it's not really moving the way we want it to. So let's just take a minute and sort of verbalize what the specific problems are and then go back into the code and, and see if we can tweak it to make things work a little better. So one problem is that if I start moving, it like acceleration is kind of slow. Uh, another problem would be that it, I slide forever when I stop moving instead of stopping responsively. It's like I'm on ice. And then an, a third problem would be that if I keep holding move, I continue to move faster and faster and faster without any sort of limit on my max speed. So those are three issues that we should try to solve one at a time. So I think we can fix the sluggish uh, acceleration just by changing this uh, variable speed. So if I leave the game running and start increasing this, you can mouse over this area by the variable's name and then click and drag. Uh, we can we can see that yeah that that gets you going quicker, but uh, it kind of emphasizes the other two problems, which would be the no max speed and the um, low friction stopping, the fact that we slide around. So you might also notice that when you stop the game, if you have adjusted a, a, uh, an editor variable here and then stop the game, it will return back to what it used to be. Uh, that just sort of makes it safe to experiment while the game is running, but it does mean that you need to either remember what, this what you had this on when you find a value that you like, or copy the component and then, um, let's say I liked it here, I can copy the component, stop the game, you'll see it went back to 5, but I can right click and choose paste component values, and then I can get, if I had lots of different settings here that I had all tweaked, I can get them all like that without having to remember them all. Uh, anyhow, first of all, uh, so the speed thing, this this maybe works better when it's a higher number, but it's becoming clear that this isn't really an honest name, speed. It's actually more of an acceleration. So I want to go into my code and um, rename this thing something that is more accurate. So instead of calling it speed, let's call it uh, acceleration force because it's actually this kind of indicates that we're actually using this variable in our add force function here and so since I renamed it it's telling me that the speed thing doesn't exist if uh, you haven't done too much else after you've renamed a variable and it's still outlined in this dashed uh, with this dashed rectangle you can get the quick action here um, that will allow you to rename speed to acceleration force and that will uh, f rename it anywhere you've used it. So you can see in the little preview it's gonna, it says that speed will get changed to acceleration force and uh, that's what I want to do. So I'll go ahead and click that. If you've actually started doing other work you'll lose that little rec that dashed outline and then you're just gonna have to go in and manually type the new name anywhere that the old name is. Alright, so I can crank up the acceleration force to make my character f start moving more responsively, but that, like I said, that emphasizes the, the next problem, which is we need we need a max speed. And again, I have no clue what the max speed should be. I, can't, I could just guess, but you know, the real way to find out is to play test. And so, to make it easy to play test, I think we should make another variable while we're here for max speed and expose it to the editor. So we will create a new serialized field, and this one will be private float max speed. And uh, we can take a guess. We can say, uh, how about five? I don't know. Five sounds good. 
and uh, when we actually play our game we can adjust it to see what's what actually feels right so we created a variable for this we need to actually use that variable so in fixed update what I will do is get a new line underneath where we're adding the force and I'm gonna create a new vector 2 that's going to represent a clamped velocity where the velocity is clamped to our max speed so I will say uh, vector 2 clamped velocity equals rb2d dot velocity so we'll just start off with whatever our velocity actually is and then on the next line is where we'll apply the clamping so we only really want to clamp on the x because this is um, we're only worried about moving on the x-axis right um, our character at this point can only move left and right so we'll say uh, clamped velocity dot x equals map f dot clamp and you can see it takes a float value so this is the value we're going to clamp and then a minimum and a maximum so we will say that uh, the value we want to clamp is just rb2d dot velocity dot x and the minimum value will be um, negative max speed and the maximum value will be max speed because so we need to make sure we can't move too fast to the left or to the right so the max speed will work as our negative and our positive boundary there alright so now we have a clamped velocity that's just the same as our rigid body's current velocity except it's been clamped on the X and our uh, next step will be to actually change our rigid body's velocity to this clamped velocity that we made so we'll say rb2d dot velocity so this represents the current velocity of our character we're going to go ahead and set that to the clamped velocity. All right, so I'll save that and let's go back to Unity. All right, and so we can run the game. And I'm going to crank up the acceleration force to something like 20. Uh, that way our character should start moving pretty swiftly it should feel re pretty responsive once I press right or left and uh, if I keep holding right or left however you'll see that I'm never gonna move faster than this max speed I have set of five so if I were to increase the max speed well, we can just make it something big just to make it obvious so we'll make the max speed 50 now if I you can see I can really get moving fast. I moved so fast I fell off the edge of the earth there. Um, so again let's just set this to something large. Uh, 50 and then I'll start moving. I'm just accelerating slowly and slowly and slowly but eventually I'm gonna get going fast. So at this point we have to put our game designer hat on and adjust these numbers to something that feels reasonable or good even so I'm going to choose um, maybe like 20 for acceleration force because I want my character to get going in a responsive way and the max speed needs to be uh, something a lot slower so that um, the character isn't just running out of control uh, so this feels pretty good but uh, it is leaving the last big problem here which is that I feel like I'm on ice when I move and then let go of move it just takes me a long time to stop and you know that's cool if I want to have an ice feature in my game but I don't want just the default ground to feel like I'm on ice so that's going to be the next
problem we tackle. But before I stop my game from running, I'm going to go ahead and copy my component here because I like these numbers. And then I'll stop the game and I will right click and paste those values to get the fine tuned values that I liked during my play test. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, save our progress here. So file, save project, file, save scene, and we will start tackling the uh, slippery ice ground problem in the next video.